Hi guys, in this video we'll be going through solving the following question. A single rivet holds three sheets of steel together and is loaded as shown below. So both of these diagrams show the same situation. If the maximum average shear stress allowed for the material, that's the material for the rivet, is 125 mega newtons per meter squared, and a factor of safety of 3 is required by the design standards, find the minimum rivet diameter for this section that we have below here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to find out the allowable shear stress for that section. Um, so we've got 100, or we, well, we have this relationship, factor of safety equal to tau max divided by tau allowed. Uh, so uh, we can write 3 equal to tau max, which was given to us as 125 uh, megapascals divided by the allowed stress, and then we can find out uh, the value of tau allowed for that section. That would be 125 times 10 to the 6 megapascals, that is, divided by 3. And then for that, just go 125 times 10 to the 6 uh, divided by 3. Okay, so that there is 41.6 recurring uh, megapascals. All right, uh, the next thing here is, well, um, what we're going to be looking at is now that we know the allowed stress, um, we can have a look at the actual situation of what's going on here. Um, now, if we look at this rivet, we'll see that there's a 10 kilonewton force trying to go towards the right. Um, what that will try to do is it'll try to pull the rivet towards the right, um, and it will effectively try to cut the bolt through this section here and through this section here. Um, so we say that this bolt is in double shear because there is two sections of that bolt which are, in, uh, which are being cut through. So we can draw a free body diagram of this section here of the bolt and we'll do that uh, just down here. Alright, so free body diagram of the section of pin. and uh, shear. Okay, so here you can see our pin. Um, we have a 10 kilonewton force which is trying to pull towards the right. And then we have a, a reaction force. Um, we'll assume that that reaction force is evenly spread over that pin. It should be close enough. Um, we'll also assume that any kind of bending moment inside the pin is negligible as well. Okay, so the allowed stress, tau allowed, should be equal to the total shear force. Uh, divided by the area in shear for that section. Okay. And so what we see um, is our allowed stress of 41.6 megapascals is equal to the shear force which is being applied at that section. divided by the area in shear, so that includes this section and this section here. Alright, so we can calculate area in shear. Equal to 10,000 divided by 41.6 times 10 to the 6. Ok, 
okay and then go 10,000 divided by our answer from before and we get 2.4 times 10 to the minus 4 and the units are meters squared okay and so the area in shear is actually equal to two times the area of the bolt um, so that was because we had two areas being cut through here so uh, two times the area of the bolt is equal to 2.4 times 10 to the minus 4 um, for the area of the bolt uh, that's related to the diameter of the bolt as well so uh, 2 times pi d squared over 4 is equal to 2.4 times 10 to the minus 4 uh, and the units for that are meters squared and then we can rearrange and solve for d okay so here we get d equal to 2.4 times 10 to the minus 4 bring the 4 up multiply it by 4 divide by 2 divide by pi and then square root the entire answer okay so we can take this value and then uh, so multiply by 4 divide by 2 divide by pi and square root the answer and we get uh, 0 0.012 uh, say 4 meters and that's accurate to three significant figures uh, so that's equivalent to a diameter equal to um, about 12.4 millimeters so we would look at uh, booklets for rivets and look for standard sizes of rivets um, and approx approximately would get um, a rivet of I think it was 5 eighths of an inch um, so usually rivets are in imperial units alright uh, so uh, thank you for watching um, if you've got any comments or anything you'd like to add please feel free to um, comment below uh, thank you for, for watching